Tony, are you seeing this? I don't know. Are we seeing the same thing? I think we are, Tony. A ball of energy just entered our atmosphere, and it's increasing in size. Tony, I, I can't hear you. What are you saying? Steve, we need to go now! How come you didn't let me in on what's going on? He's my son too, you know. I know that, but we're running out of time, Sue. Franklin has abilities he doesn't fully understand. And those abilities... Those abilities will be able to help us with what's coming. So you're experimenting with our son and planning on putting him in danger. Now, Susan, you know I would never want to put Franklin in danger. Unless... Unless it was necessary. And deep down, you know I'm right. Hey, Reed. I didn't mean to interrupt, but Tony's here. And the rest of them. Should I... No, no, it's, um... It's okay, Ben. Just just bring them in. Want to go for a walk, sis? Clear your head? Get some air? Yes, I need to clear my head. Susan? Huh. Guess we'll talk later. Hope we're not interrupting any family matters, are we? Uh, you heard us? Only just a little. And it is not our concerns. Good point. <clears throat> so, uh, what gives, Reed? You weren't at the meeting. I know. I'm sorry. But I was working really late and I discovered something. And what are we looking at exactly? It's Franklin's powers. Somehow his powers have increased to such a level I can't even believe. It's fascinating. Franklin's power has the same resemblance to Gene's powers. But... So what you're saying is Franklin's what? Omega level? Yes, and his power seems to continue to grow as he ages. Wow, Franklin could really be some help against Galactus. That's what I was telling Sue, but... What is it, Reed? What are you thinking? I'm starting to think maybe I am crazy for putting my own son in harm's way. What about absorbing the powers from Franklin? <laughs> Trust me, I've weighed all the possibilities, and absorbing the power from Franklin, it could cause damage to him physically. I don't want to do that. Well, at least there's a bright side to things. We have cosmic level friends to help us. What's weighing heavy on your mind? I can see it in your face. Galactus is drawing near. And we have the power to do something, so why don't we? Well, what do you mean? I feel it's best that we try and stop Galactus. Or at least hold him off for enough time for the heroes to be prepared. Hmm, I must say, I agree. I'll be fine, MJ. It's, I'm more worried about you and May. Don't worry, okay, I promise. When this is all over, I'll rush home as fast as I can to you. <laughs> Love you too. <clears throat> hey, Spidey. Oh, hey, Wade. Uh, how long were you even standing there? Well, long enough. You seem tense. Need a massage? Uh, honestly, maybe. I'm more worried about this round, you know? I mean, the last guys we fought, I mean, they were bad, but... I mean, this Galactus, this is something new. Ah, trust me, Pete. Can I call you Petey? No? Okay. Anyway, look, I understand. You sometimes wonder, man, am I in over my head? But then you realize you're right where you belong. <laughs> Thanks, Wade. The truth is, Pete, I'm also worried. Very worried. <laughs> really? Why are you worried? You have an instant healing factor. <laughs> yeah, I know. And it's awesome. But not worried about me. Then, then who are you worried about, Wade? See? She's uh, about ten years old now. Jeez, I, I never knew you had a daughter. Yeah, no one knows. Well, except you now. My best friend. So, I understand how you feel. You're not worried about yourself. You're worried about the ones you love the most.
Don't worry, Pete, because everything's going to work out. stop you. I'm just not alone this time. <laughs> this will be interesting. Get back to Earth and warn everyone. If Annihilus is this close, Galactus and his heralds aren't too far behind either. Agreed. We have to get to the Avengers. You're okay? How you feel? I'm good. Just never thought I would have to face Terax on training day. Yeah. But hey, what do I always tell you? <laughs> you say. Stay ready for the obstacles. <laughs> exactly. Now, I just need to try and get in contact with the Nova Corps. I cannot believe that these guys faced off against Terax. So, what are you thinking, Quill? If what they're saying is true, then we need to help. I am Groot. Exactly, Groot. I'm with you there. You want to try, and I, and I emphasize on the word try. Try to take down Galactus? Yes, Rocket, we're the guardians of the galaxy. Hello, I'm pretty sure he's a threat to the galaxy. Fighting Galactus, that's suicide, Quill. Don't worry, we have them. Two Nova Corps guys who didn't stand a chance against whatever is out there, remember? They bumped into us unconscious, Quill. We need to leave now. We're wasting time. But hold on, buddy. You may run things wherever else, but this is my ship. Listen, you idiot. While you're sitting here trying to compare ranks, Galactus is closing in on Earth and other planets as we speak. We need to leave now. Fine, we're going. But only because I'm choosing to. <laughs> Finally! What's the status, Terax? Have you made it to Earth? We are close. We will proceed with the plan. Make sure to weaken those Earth's mightiest heroes. With pleasure. Not today, Terax. <laughs> what a surprise, and yet, finally some worthy opponents. Galactus will not feed on any more planets. <sighs> we'll see. What's the matter? Getting tired? <laughs> Arrogance will get you killed. This is what I call a casualty of war. No! No! <laughs> Off at the head. No! No, he killed Quasar. The heroes of Earth are in grave danger. Well, come on, we better not waste time. I'm sorry, my friend. Your death would not be for nothing. Aren't you worried at all about what could happen, Warren? Of course I am. The planet is on the verge of being eaten. But I have faith. 
We would get through this, just like all the other situations we faced. I'm not sure if you noticed, but Bets can act a little bit like our mom sometimes. I just can't help the feeling I have. Trust me, I understand. We've been through worse. We got this. Together. <gasps> oh my god. Jean, you okay? You look like you just seen a ghost. No, not a ghost. I just saw chaos. This Galactus is coming, but Charles doesn't want to cause panic. So we all will proceed as it is a regular day. You teach your classes, and we'll just wait for Charles' word. Scott, what's going on? Well, before Charles left, he said that he's been dreaming of Galactus, and these visions of light- Chaos. Scott, I just had that same vision upstairs. Really? W what did you see? I saw a bunch of screaming and death and- Right before the vision ended, I saw his face. I saw Galactus. I need to go to the city to the exact spot where my vision took place. Well, uh, well here, Gene, just uh, take my bike, okay? Thank you. Hey, Scott, Hank needs you upstairs. Hey, Logan, you want to drive me into the city? Uh, sure, Gene. What's the reason? Just following up on a feeling that I've been getting. Uh, sure, let's go. You be gentle with my bike, Logan. I'm gonna leave scratch marks all over it, Bob. Logan, you... Would you please tell him to be careful? <laughs> Relax, Scott. Your bike will be fine. So, where to, Gene? I don't know. Um, I keep seeing four. Um, maybe the Baxter building. Wade, what is it you are doing? I am bored as hell. How do you just sit around here? I find things to do. Some people find peace in silence, reading, and feeding pigeons. Well, that's beautiful and all, but that's not me. I like to get my hands dirty. Are you okay, Scott? You seem tense. Well, I just uh, let Logan use my bike. <laughs> Are you sure that was a good idea? Why? Did he say something? Wait, if you know anything, you better tell me. <laughs> Relax, he didn't say anything. Or did he? Sue, wait up. Sue, will you slow down? Jeez, you walk any faster, you'll travel through time. You said, let's go for a walk, so that's what we're doing. Okay, look, sis, I get it. You're angry at him. <sighs> you have no idea. But you should also understand how Reed may feel. Okay. So I'm supposed to be okay with Reed putting Franklin in harm's way because he has powers. I, I didn't say that. You did. All I'm saying is, look, Reed has a lot on his shoulders, sis. I mean, come on, I thought Reed was crazy too, but there are a lot of people depending on Reed. And having all that attention, it, it appears it gets stressful. I can imagine how the Avengers may feel. So what should I do then, Johnny? Don't be mad at Reed. Okay, he's, he's doing everything in his power to keep the planet safe, and most importantly, to keep you, Franklin, me, and Ben all safe. Wow. <laughs> what? What is it? That's the first time you've ever spoken so maturely about Reed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be the last time, sis. Now come on, let's get something to eat. Franklin, buddy, ready to help Dad with another experiment? Yeah, what do I need to do? Okay, I need you to focus, buddy, and focus well, and think of a happy moment. Is that an orb? No, it's not an orb, it's a, it's a portal, it's just not open wide enough. His powers are coming from his emotions. It's very similar to how the X-Men powers manifest. Maybe I can assist him. Yeah, okay, sure. Uh, Franklin, buddy, the professor's going to chime in, okay? Oh boy, this is not good. No, no it is not. Wow, amazing, the, 
The portal is opening up wider now. It looks like the portal leads to somewhere in outer space. <laughs> I think it's time that we close the portal. Now. Like, right now. Yeah, I agree. Hmm, fascinating. A portal leading me right to you all. That portal must be closed. Interesting. A portal opening, showing me the world that I will soon devour. <laughs> well, now we know where the portal leads. Yeah, and how about we not do that again? There is so much he can do and he doesn't even know it yet. Yeah, at least for now. I'll be right back. Where are you going? To talk to an old friend. And what should we do while you're gone? Just keep an eye on Franklin. And if any alerts go off, contact me immediately, Ben. You got it. Nick, what's the status of this uh, Galactus? Reed Richards of the Fantastic Four is handling it, alongside with the Avengers. Okay, just with everything that's going on, we must keep the public from panicking. Well, sir, if I may, but the moment people start seeing some huge figure in the sky, panic will automatically set in. Well, yes, I'm aware of that, but it's our job to make sure the people that are on this planet stay calm. What is the plan that the Fantastic Four and the Avengers have come up with? Sir, I'm sure that whatever plan that they have, I'm pretty sure that they'll succeed. So, in many words, you're saying you don't know. <sighs> Great. <sighs> Nick, we don't have time to wait for your super teams. We have missiles that are armed and ready and on standby for the president to give the go-ahead. And with all due respect to the president, I don't think that's a good idea to shoot and waste missiles on something we don't fully understand. And sitting around waiting for your precious heroes isn't any better, Fury. I say we ready our missiles, we launch them, we take down this Galactus, and everything will be okay. And this is coming from the same guy who wanted to blow up New York City with a missile a year ago while the Avengers was fighting MODOK. And, and what are you trying to say then, Fury? I'm saying that your choice of actions is full of sh- Well, let's not get out of line here. Look, I understand you have a job to do and orders to follow. So do I. All I'm saying is just trust in Dr. Richards. I do. He's one of the smartest, brilliant minds we have. And he and Stark will figure this out. Okay, Fury. But you do understand we will act accordingly to the situation if need be. <laughs> As will I. Coulson, I need you to do something for me. Sure. Anything. What is it? I need you to prepare me and bring him to me. You mean... Yes. We're going to need everyone on this. Bring Sentry in. What about Maximoff? Let her stay in there. And just keep telling her what we've been telling her. If she finds out we've been lying to her about Vision, she'll go off the edge. We don't need that right now. You got it, sir. <laughs> Always nice to see a friendly face. Likewise, can I come in? So, what's going on, Reed? <laughs> I've been watching the news and I see that look on your face. And as well as I know you, you need some help. Yeah, I do. But I can also understand why you probably don't want to help. Yeah, I, uh, I just came back from laying flowers on her grave. I miss Candace a lot. But at the same time, I also can't come back, remember? I understand, I know, but times are different. I mean, you, you came back and helped with the symbiote situation. Yeah, and thankfully enough, the government doesn't know of that. Otherwise, I'd probably be in jail right now. Adam, just think. You help protect the planet, and maybe the president will consider and allow you to. See, Reed, that's the problem. Listen to the words you're saying. Maybe the president will consider? And what if he doesn't? Adam, please, do this for me, a friend. I'll put in a good word to the president. You have my word. Okay, Reed. I'll take your word. There's Earth. Well, let's go. Wait. I have an idea. Well, please share the thoughts that you have. 
We need to send a message saying that we have arrived. We need to leave them not only vulnerable, but leave those Earth's heroes weakened. And what did you have in mind? <laughs> Wait, who's that down there on the moon? It's... it's them. It's Terex and Morg. Okay, we need a plan. We can't just blitz these guys. We must... Wait, what the... What the hell are you doing? <laughs> I like this guy. He got guts. I am Groot. Nah, Groot. What you got is a big warm heart, buddy. We must get down there. Terex is a very dangerous foe, Peter Quill. Terex the Tamer. Look who awakened from their defeat. You are nothing more than a child. No! Leave him alone! You know, we have a name for people like you from where I'm from. Imbecile. That's not the word I was going to use. I have had enough of this. I am Groot. Groot, no! I am Groot. This was fun, but there is something I must do now. What? What are you doing? Making Earth's mightiest heroes vulnerable. Right here. The feeling I'm getting, it's strong here. Okay. What's the feeling you're having? Oh my god, we have to go now. Huh. Something's going on. Yeah, something entered our atmosphere. Is it Galactus? I don't think so. It's not a person, it's more of an object. And by the looks of it, it's carrying high levels of energy. Hey Ben, I just received a detection. Something entered into our atmosphere, an anomaly. Yeah, it entered into our atmosphere. Whatever it is, it's showing high levels of energy. Reed, it could cause serious damage on impact. Okay, just keep your eye open. I'm on my way back now. Tony, are you seeing this? I don't know. Are we seeing that same thing? It appears it's showing up on all of our devices. Should we be worried? Don't be worried, my friend. Just be alert. What about the students? Are they safe? Don't worry, Professor. Kirk, Warren, Bobby, and Bess are taking care of that. Scott, it's about to happen. Oh no, this is not good. Tell them to get out of there, now! Steve, you need to get out of there! Steve! Steve! We need to get over there, right now. Skull, gather the X-Men and head over to the Avengers Mansion quickly. What the heck was that? Oh no. Johnny, come on! I guess it's time to suit up. Flame on! What the hell? Wait, Pete, isn't that where the Avengers Mansion is? Yeah, it is. Come on, Miles. We need to see if anyone got hurt. Oh, uh, what was that? Something not good. We must see if we can help. A shocking event struck, leaving New York citizens concerned and curious on what happened to the famous Avengers Mansion. Since the explosion, we have not seen any movement from the rubble, but we'll keep you all updated. Steve, where are you? Oh my god. Is he? No, Scott's fine. He's just... He's just knocked out. Is there anyone else? Where's Pepper? She said she'd be here. Tony, 
I know. No, no, don't tell me. Tony, I'm... I'm sorry. I found her laying over here. No! No! Pepper! Hey, Cap, what... What happened here? I need you two to go and find anyone you can and help them. You got it, Cap. Oh no. This is awful. This is what the Vision was trying to tell me. Oh my goodness. What in the world could have done this? Everyone, spread out. Go and see if anyone needs help. It won't matter. I can't sense or feel anybody. They're all dead. Kevin. Kevin! Thor, I'm here. Kevin, I promise you, you're going to be okay. No, I'm not. What? What are you saying? It was an honor to fight alongside you, Thor. Tony, come on. No! Just let me stay with her. Come on, Tony. We have to move her and get her out of the debris. It appears that Iron Man has obtained a body from the debris. It's clear to say that there are some casualties from this attack. Sue, I... Reed, you need to get over to the Avengers Mansion now! Sue, what... what... what happened? Reed, the mansion... exploded. I'm, um... I, I'm on my way. Be there soon. Uh, Reed, um, are you okay? We need to get to the mansion. Fast. It was attacked. Well, I think it's time that you, uh, suit up. <laughs> Hello there, old friend. It ends here, Galactus. You will not devour Earth. This grows tiresome. We've been through this before. I'm starting to think both of you are in a time loop. You will not disrupt my feast. I'm too close this time. <laughs> Let's take a trip to Earth. Me and Rogue, we rescued everyone we could, but Sad to say the rest are, well, you know, mon ami. Dead. The rest are all dead. What will we do? What can we do? The blast came from space. That blast came from space, which means our enemies are close. We wait for them to show. And let's just prepare for the fight ahead. They're here. And who are those guys they defeated? They are some old friends of ours. Finally, we have arrived. And soon, Galactus will too. Hey, hope we're not too late to the party. <laughs> right on time, you two. Time to end this. <laughs> you really are Earth's mightiest heroes. You survived a very cosmic blast. But you all will not survive and battle against us. I don't know. I think we can manage. After all, we did kill Thanos and his Black Order. Hmm. We are not Thanos. We are deadlier than he. More heroes to slaughter. This will be amusing. Hey Ben, what's that thing you always say? It's clobbering time! <laughs> Don't worry, Spidey. I got your back. Whoa! You are no match for me. <laughs> it's the second time you saved my life, Frank. Thanks. Nah, no, don't mention it, Spidey. You can tell you the fight on the ground. I'm gonna take the high ground and get on top of the rooftop. Nick, what's the status? Everything is being handled. The Avengers are dealing with the situation. There's no need for a missile launch. Are you sure about that? 
They made their first move by blowing up your Avengers hideout. Everything is being handled. Go, go, go. Get out of here. Get to safety. Hank, look out! What? <coughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Thanks, hon. Uh, guys, a little help, please? I go low and take out his legs, and you go high. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. You okay, sugar? Yeah, I'm okay for now. Hasn't your mother taught you not to hit a lady? I was born to be a warrior. I'll take that as a big fat no. You two, get ready. Heads up! Look out below! Insignificant arachnid. Oh, finally someone didn't call me an insect. Oh boy. <laughs> Need some help, Spidey? No, oh, please. I could really use it. Oh, that fireball was just a distraction for this to happen. <laughs> Let's take him on for a ride. Warren, on me! Gotcha. <laughs> Interesting. He's too powerful. Unless we get him to drop that weapon. Yeah, well, it won't be easy. Since when anything we do is easy. <sighs> I grow tired of you mutants. I am gentlemen. Ladies first. Need some help, brother? Can't believe it, you're... You're here. The Imperial Guard watches over a million worlds. This is one of them. Bets. Bets, are you okay? <sighs> Warren, please don't leave me. I won't. No, Lalandra! <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, I'm just thinking how easy it would be for Galactus to devour you all. I'd be careful with your words. Things didn't end well for the last person who uttered those words. You are no match for me. Maybe. But I'm not giving up. Johnny, it's time for you to bring the heat. You got it. Surrender, heroes. There's no need to keep fighting. Sorry to have crashed on your party. Ugh, you again. Something must be done. I know my role, Awatu. So what are you waiting for? Him. I need him to be in position for the trap. The time is close. You have bested me. And now, you will suffer defeat. <laughs> you don't have what it takes. I will show you. Big mistake. Shooting that beam. And an even bigger mistake coming here. Because now you'll suffer death and defeat. Ah, uh, this is far from over, everyone. Look up. Oh, man. Oh, this is bad. Well, it was fun while it lasted. We had a good run. Nice knowing you all. I have arrived. Uh, Reed, what do we do now? We fight with everything we have. Who are you? I am Captain Universe. I am here to help you. Will you trust me? This was too easy. Mom, Dad, Uncle Johnny, you monster! You hurt my family. And you are the boy I kept seeing. And he's also the one that would destroy you. What? No! Uh, Frankie. No. 
You cannot defeat me. <laughs> Say goodbye, Galactus. Hey, uh, X guys, could really use your help. Of course we can. It'll be our pleasure. It looks like you could use an extra pair of hands. No. Good job, kid. You'll be a great hero once you're older. Galactus is gone. Your world is safe. <laughs> and uh, what would you do now? Well, like your world is at peace, I too will be at peace in the stars. Oh, well, hey, thanks for your help. So, how do you feel, my friend? Well, I feel a lot of things right now. Nervous, happy, everything. <laughs> well, just breathe, Adam. Everything's gonna be okay. I mean, we saved the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did. Dr. Richards, I wanna be the first to thank you and the rest of the Fantastic Four. The president himself sends his utmost gratitude. Oh, also, Adam Brashear, he also granted that you are no longer restricted to do your superhero duties. Thank you. And please, give the president my thanks as well. Uh, hello? Reed, can we talk for a second? Well, um, me and Adam are on our way back, so um, I'll talk to you the second I get back to the Baxter building. Welcome back to the Baxter, Dr. Richards. I've got the usual for you. Good to have you back, sir. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. <laughs> hey, Sue. What is it you wanted to talk to me about? I just want to say that I'm sorry for being so angry. There's no need to be sorry. I mean, Sue, I would have reacted the same way. I, I should have at least brought you in on the idea. I want you to know I would never do anything to put you or Franklin in harm's way ever. I know. I guess I'm also not ready to accept that Franklin has powers. And part of me wishes he was normal. No powers, just a regular nerdy kid like his father. Mm. I love you. And I love you. Hmm. What is the problem, Owato? The multiverse is in critical danger, Strange. He who wants to rewrite history has knowledge of the multiverse. Wait, you don't mean... Yes, he's going to rewrite history so it can benefit himself. How bad? What has he done already? He's already visited one other universe. Eventually, he will arrive here. to find a way to destroy this device. Otherwise, history across the multiverse will be completely rewritten. You and Thor, go and do that. I'll hold them off. Wait, no. Look, I'm not gonna argue. But we don't know if destroying the machine will even help the situation. What if somewhere else, in another universe, another Ant-Man, or another Reed Richards, or another version of you, figured out the multiverse? I understand. But if destroying the device doesn't stop them, It'll at least slow him down. Now both of you, go! Tony Stark. Ultron. Ready to die, I hope. Funny. I was gonna ask you the same thing. <laughs> Time to kill the rest of your friends. There's the device. We need to destroy it, and fast. Oh man, we're running out of time, Thor. Then what shall we do? We, we may have to jump. Ah, no! Thor, jump, now! They've escaped. Not to worry, we will get them wherever in the universe. We'll find them and complete the objective. Precisely. 
And after all, I have the technology to get us anywhere in the multiverse.